Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris, and thank you very much for watching this episode of electricaltime.com. On our website, you can go uh, buy our books. We've got our own electrical practice exam and study guide books. How cool is that? And if you're serious about becoming a licensed electrician, whether you're going to become a journeyman, a master, or an electrical inspector, on the other side of the book, you can go check out our online code classes. And we're going to be using our book in those classes. Also, if you click down here, you can go check out our other free electrical videos. And just below that, down there, you can sign up for our newsletter on our website, electricaltime.com. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe and give us a like. We really appreciate it. Okay, here we go. This is a picture of a violation. Here are two three-way switches being roughed in where the 14-2 NM cable was used for what looks like the travelers between three-way switches and where these additional THHN conductors were wrapped around each 14-2 NM cable to provide the additional traveler conductor required for the three-way switches to work. We also see other violations for not securing the cable and for running conductors without a raceway through the framing members. But let's focus just on one violation, which is 300.3b. Also, uh, back on our website, electricaltime.com, if you click on the free videos, uh, I have a great video on three-way and four-way light switches, and that talks about all of the different things that uh, you should probably know uh, before you go ahead and you do uh, a three-way or four-way electrical installation. So let's do a zoom in so we could really see what's what's going on over here. And again, I'm not, I'm not looking at the other violations. I'm just looking at this one um, set of violations here. So you can see that that THHN conductor, you know, that red conductor is wrapped around that uh, 14 to nm cable and what they did there and again based upon what i can see here i wasn't actually on this electrical inspection but it looks like they ran that additional conductor so that it can act as the traveler and for us electricians out there you know that those uh, three-way switches in between those three-way switches we're going to have 14-3 so what they did here is they ran 14-2 and to get that extra conductor they uh, they just um, pulled out a THHN uh, red conductor and uh, there they they went away with that uh, the nice thing that they did here is actually they marked the cable for what it is you know here it says three-way attic lights so I don't know if I would put a, a three-way switch for um, an attic you know, usually an attic, um, you know, in some cases it's going to be used for storage. And, you know, if I'm up in the attic and I'm trying to look for things, I certainly don't want somebody on the floor below me to turn the lights off. I think what I would have rather done in this installation uh, was to put a light switch in the staircase uh, hallway going up to the attic. And uh, this way I would just turn the light on as I'm going up and then after leaving the attic and before I shut that door uh, to go to the floor below, I would turn that light off. All right. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, but, you know, we see a lot of crazy things out there um, when we're doing electrical inspections. Let's go to our code book and let's take a look at 300.3b. And if you do not have your code book, just go back to our website, electricaltime.com. You can click on the links on the, the bottom part of our website, you can see the picture of the code book. And also we got some great books from the IAEI. That's the International Association of Electrical Inspectors. And to go check out their books and we have a promo code, which is electricaltime.com. And you can save a couple of uh, dollars on your purchases there. All right, so 300.3b is called conductors of the same circuit. It talks about where all the conductors that belong to the same circuit, including the grounded conductor, equipment grounding conductor, and bonding conductors must be in the same raceway, auxiliary gutter, cable tray, cable bus assembly, trench, cable, or cord. And however, 
it's almost like an exception, but they, they use the words unless it's permitted otherwise for uh, 300.5b, one, parallel installations, 300.5b2 for grounding and bonding, 300.5b3 for non-ferrous wiring methods, and 300.5b4 for column width panel enclosures. And we would really like to thank Kevin Kroll. He's the Chief Electrical Inspector over at Atlantic Inland in New York for sending us this picture. All right, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and we will see you on the next one.